Over 200 stakeholders, including traditional and religious leaders, civil society organizations, humanitarian actors, and government officials in Yobe State, are gathered here to reflect and brainstorm on the 2023 flood preparedness and response. Relying on the lessons of 2022, preparations for the prevention of flooding in the state are outlined. Currently, design has been completed to address the challenge of gully erosion in Buniadi, which is a very serious problem. We have been working toward that for almost 11 months. Uh, this is a very serious milestone. The activity covers about um, 12 kilometers of concrete drain here in Damatru, starting from Nasarawa towards Budigari, and then it's going to be ends at Sumsumwa. By the time that such project is completed, the issue of seeing water in Damatru or flooding in Damatru is going to be over. On our way to respond to victims of flood with food basket in Tarmo and Bulsari, we were unable to access the communities. We have the food items, but we cannot access the communities. We have to come back with our food items to our warehouses because there is no access. So I believe if we have local approach, the local community will tell us in the event of flood, if you are going to community A, B, and C in Bursari and Tarmoa, these are the alternate rules that you follow to respond to those communities. Governor May Malabuni, who was represented by the Secretary to the State Government, explains that the engagement is aimed at getting local responses, creating awareness, as well as planning the evacuation of residents from flood-prone areas. So those areas that are expected to have flooding, you have to sensitize them, give them the necessary information, and those that they may require them to be moved out from the especially polar polar areas, you have to start the preparation so that we will not have colossal lakes of life. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency has predicted flooding in over 224 local government areas in 35 states, including Yobe. Although this forecast is yet to happen, the government believes it's better to be prepared ahead of a possible flooding.